COVID is horrible. I personally have lost loved ones or seen people permanently ill from a COVID related disease. It is the worst thing ever. And it's been an incredibly hard for you years for pretty much everyone on the planet. We know that it's been bad for a lot of people groups, for women, for children, for people of color, for medical professionals, and for people who are in the essential worker category and had to put themselves in harm's way to make sure the rest of us were fed. COVID legitimately sucks and I hate it a lot. That said, the impact of a multiple years long pandemic has changed the landscape for artists in a way that I think was a long time coming. And some of the changes are offering interesting opportunities. Shortly before COVID, I had a vision of a chessboard in play and then thrown into the air. Time froze. The pieces tumbled in the air in slow motion. I did not know how they would land. It seems to me that COVID and the events of the last few years have absolutely been like that board game upended. We still don't know where the pieces will land, and though the trauma and the loss has been significant, there are also some hopeful changes. Let's discuss. Welcome to The Josie Show, where I bring you artist-to-artist -artist chat about making good art and about the business of art. I believe that artists should get paid, and I want to help to equip you to make a thriving business from your incredible talents and passions. So let's talk about those COVID changes. There are a million horrible things that have happened to us, but some good things too, as we have reordered how we live and what we care about. For artists, the biggest changes have happened in four main categories. The first two are about how the pandemic affected the creative life of people. And the last two are about the shift in shopping patterns that naturally include how people buy art. The first change is that many, many more people stayed inside and worked on their hobbies. Okay, everyone, stop going to movies, stop going to restaurants, can't go to the theater, can't do any kind of shopping, can't go on cruises, no airplanes, no friends. Stay in your house, wipe down your groceries. Well, what are people gonna do? I'll tell you what they did. They pulled out their guitar, they pulled out their watercolors, they pulled out their woodworking supplies and their Italian lessons and their knitting. I think creative hobbies got a radical boost during the pandemic, just because so many other options were eliminated. Another interesting change that we're still seeing is that a lot of folks decided their jobs were dumb and quit. You probably heard of the great resignation. It's still unclear exactly why this is happening, but there has been an ongoing huge movement of leaving conventional employment. Maybe it's because the pandemic has precipitated a kind of existential crisis. Maybe it's because working from home just made a lot of sense, but maybe you cannot work for corporate Chad and instead do something more fun. Maybe it's because of the economic boosts from the government. Whatever it was, when you quit your J-O-B job, you could explore other avenues of making money. Entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs have become more mainstream. People are realizing that they have skills that they can get paid for and they don't have to stay inside a conventional career path to make it happen. There's a lot of different forms this takes, but for the creative ones, it's an epic change. From the consumer perspective, there were really big changes for real life shopping. And though online shopping isn't exactly new, it came into full flower during this era. I remember back in the day, this is maybe 15, 20 years ago, a friend wanted this obscure brand of boots and she could only find a used pair on eBay. So she used my account to bid for them and she was a complete wreck. <laughs> she had to hand over her credit cards, to a complete stranger and it basically paralyzed her with fear. Now, of course, we tap our phones to pay and send our credit info through the airwaves completely fearlessly. We have become completely used to ordering things to be shipped to us and there's far less discomfort with the process, even with expensive things like art. An artist selling art via a website was completely unheard of 15 years ago. The dawn of Amazon made us comfortable with online shopping and Etsy made us used to ordering handmade things online. But it took the pandemic to make that transformation complete. 
What this means is that a jewelry designer in Boise can send a $1,000 necklace to a stranger in LA and no one thinks twice. This is a big change and is very meaningful for artists. The fourth and final shift I wanna talk about is the changing nature of the art gallery system. Naturally, galleries have always been a luxury market and even the tiniest minor economic disruptions will affect them first. During the first year of the pandemic, art galleries closed by the hundreds. And more than that, there have always been far more artists than there were galleries. Now the ratio is even worse. So if that method of art sales is closed to even more artists, there is a need to find another way. Enter artists making sales directly to their fans. The middleman isn't the gallery, it's Instagram. <laughs> the combination of social media, the artist influencer, and the ease and comfort of online shopping has made a whole new way to sell and buy art that I believe is only in its infancy. I don't see these trends fading when life returns to normal, whatever that is. I think we've seen a permanent shift and artists and makers can take radical advantage of what I see to be a growth market. If you need a little help, I have a super fun quiz called, Are You Ready to Sell Your Art? This short quiz asks you a few questions that will help place you on the roadmap of living your dream life and give you the exact steps to move forward. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm very curious to hear if you can think of other positive changes that have happened despite the COVID tragedy that we've been in. Put your comments below.